Hey folks, I'd like to take just a few minutes of your time and share with you a new format to a program that I am really, really excited about. Now, to begin with, I, I first of all want to ask you to, to make sure you watch this video all the way through. It's not going to be a video that's five minutes, it'll be a little bit longer than that, but, but I need you to kind of watch it all the way through so that you can get all the information regarding uh, this new format and this new program that I would like to begin starting in January. For six years, I have been blessed to be the minister here at First Christian Church. And I've told many people over that time that this is probably the best ministry that Lisa and I have ever been a part of. We have excellent leaders. We have a tremendous staff. We have a lot of wonderful people that make up this church. But let's be honest, uh, not all six years have been mountaintop experiences. Uh, we've had some great people that have joined the church and worked side by side with us in building the kingdom. But we've also had some great people that have left the church for different reasons. We've had some wonderful programs that have proven to be tremendously successful. But we've also had some programs that have struggled. One of the programs that has been a concern of mine now for about two or three years is our small group program. They've just never really have seen to gotten traction and been able to, to sustain themselves over any kind of period of time. And, and the reason that the program is a concern of mine and making sure that we have a strong small group program is that when you read the book of Acts, when the church began, there were two programs that was implemented within the church. There was worship and there was small groups. That's all all that at least we know about. Over the next 2,000 years, a lot of programs have been developed within the church, children's programs, women programs, uh, Sunday school programs, and all of those are good. But it's intriguing to me that only two are mentioned within Scripture uh, that the church was taking part of, and that was worship and the small groups. That seems to indicate to me that the apostles, through divine leading by God, implemented these programs because of the benefit, not only for the church, but to each individual follower of Christ. And so that's why it's important for me to look at our small groups and see what we can do that might allow them to get that traction, to become sustaining and successful in what they are meant to accomplish. Now, I think there are two reasons why the small groups here at First Christian Church have not necessarily been that strong. One is I don't know that they've had a specific purpose or reason. Uh, and so without having that direction, sometimes they just kind of fall apart after a period of time. A second reason is, is I don't think I've done a good job as your minister encouraging you and letting you know how important it is for every follower of Christ to be a part of a small group. And so that's one of the things I want to do today. I want to challenge every member and regular attender of First Christian Church to make a commitment to be a part of a small group in 2019. Now, what I'd like to do is share with you about the new format. Uh, it, it's a little bit different. It's maybe something that you have not ever heard of before. I know I didn't uh, for a long time. In fact, it was my daughter, Joy, that brought it to my attention about four years ago, this new format. And, and because I wasn't familiar with it, I kind of just kept pushing it off to the side. But recently, I've run across a book that talks about these new formats uh, or this new format. And, and I want to share it with you. First of all, I want you to know that the purpose of the small groups that will start in January is for friendship. It's for the purpose of developing friendships, not discipleship, not relationships that go deep, but simply to help us connect with each other and develop friendships. In fact, we're going to be calling these small groups our connect groups because they are meant to connect us with one another. Many of you have been members of this church or has been a member of this church for years, and yet there's still a lot of people that you don't know. You might recognize them by face, but you really only see them on Sunday and they sit on the other side of the auditorium. Uh, 
These groups are meant to help us to connect with each other and develop friendships with each other. And the Bible speaks about the importance of friendships. We are to build each other up, pray for one another, encourage one another. All of those are things that we do as friends with each other. And so the purpose, the, 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 what we are trying to accomplish with these groups that we will be moving towards is helping every member and regular tender of our church to develop friendships with one another. So here's how the groups work. Starting in December, we will have a sign up. We will have four groups that are available to you. You will choose one of those groups based upon two or three different things. One might be the topic of the lesson that's being taught in that group. Each group will teach a different topic uh, in a different lesson format. The second reason might be based upon location, where that group is meeting. And the third would be the night that it meets. Now, each group will be limited to no more than 12 people in that group. So you need to sign up as quick as possible to make sure you get in the group that you want to. But please let me say this to you. If for some reason you don't get into the group that you originally want or is the, the first choice, please try another one because you will still accomplish the purpose of developing friendships with people by being even in a different group than maybe what you had originally wanted. So the signups will last in December. The groups will start on the week of January 6th. They will meet every night or, or once a week, in essence, depending on your night, for three months. At the end of that three months, all the groups will take a break for that fourth month. So all the groups will break for the month of April. But during April, we will do sign up again for the new uh, groups that will start in May. And so you will sign up again, but you might sign up to a different group. There might be some other groups that are added. But what you'll find is that by signing up for different groups, you'll get to meet new people that weren't in your group in the first semester. And so you can see how this will allow us to develop relationships with each other, at least in regards to friendships and learning how to meet people and talk to people and, and get to know people maybe a little bit better. Folks, I really do want to encourage you to make a commitment in 2019 to try one of the small groups. At least try it. If you find it's not for you, then I understand. But my hope is that we will have 100% uh, of our folks in 2019 be a part of a small group. Uh, folks, I, I don't know how else to express uh, how I feel that this is going to be something good for our church and something beneficial for you as a follower of Christ. And so I'm gonna ask you to please be in prayer about it. Over the next few weeks, you'll hear me continue to announce this. You'll see some announcement videos referring to these small groups. Be ready to sign up starting in December uh, and we'll kind of lead you through the process. I do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video all the way through. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I will explain it to the very best of my abilities. Thank you very much, and I hope that you have a wonderful and a blessed day.